So, the first hybrid shoe, huh? Well, they chose the right shoe silhouettes to put into this because if they had chose differently, if they had chose differently, these might not have been received so well. You too, Retro God, back with another one and on today's episode. Mm, yeah, we're looking at the Jordan Dub Zero Laser Blue in this embroidered craziness that we have here make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button for your boy we're back with a vengeance this week you already know we're about to get in some craziness you already know the drill let's go without further ado to that turntable yeah yes 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 Ooh, that was uh that was an aggressive spin anyways we're taking a look at the jordan dub zero with all this crazy embroidery first thing we're looking at is this upper and yeah as you can tell it's an amalgamation of all the most popular air jordan brands uh as you can see now looking at this upper panel you can see multiple versions of different jordans that have come out over the years you can see the 13 and all kinds of different jordans here and basically this is what this shoe is supposed to be it's supposed to be an amalgamation a consolidation of all the most famous Jordans over the past years yeah man yeah yeah for those who couldn't get real Jordans they went and got the dub zeros and these are not a bad consolation prize when I first seen these I thought they were real Jordans I was asking a man's yo dog <laughs> did I miss a number or something shoot <laughs> I ain't never seen them before. Right away, you can see this panel resembles the Jordan 13, and it's just one of those things that it's hard to notice without the little dimples that are in the shoe, but I'll show you guys here what it looks like. Now, if you look at the Jordan 13 in comparison, you can see how the panels are very similar, and you know, it's just one of those things. It just doesn't have the dimples, and that's the only difference between the Jordan Dub and the 13 here, as you can see. The embroidery itself is actually from the strap of the Jordan 20 if you guys didn't know so the Jordan 20 actually has a laser print strap and that's actually where they take that from now as you guys have noticed they've been releasing the dub zero pretty pretty consistently the last year or two um I was actually surprised didn't happen to cop any of the newest colorways that came out although I feel like I got one of the best colorways right here so I'm not really too uh too upset the dub zero been pretty popular so make sure you guys go get those because you never know when they're gonna drop again it might take the next five six years to pull them out again so yeah now the toe boxes as you can see are very similar as well obviously you have pat leather here and here you have suede because of the these are the black cat 13s but you can see the shape of the panels and the shape of the toe box as well very similar to each other this is an embroidered panel now the original um, dub zeros came with a laser etched kind of design I really like the embroidered uh, version better the texture on here is very nice and I just I just like it better than the laser print to tell you the truth gives it a little bit of a better texture and it's something to look at so you have some laser etching and you have some um, embroidery and it's kind of a mix-up of both now originally they came up with the laser etching first and the embroidery came second so these joints released in 2009 and you know we're used to the original laser etched version and these are the embroidered version and I kind of gotta say I like the embroidered version a bit more looks like they put a little bit of a little bit of pepper sauce in it you know what I mean? Moving on our toe box, which is a complete pat leather and it's very buttery and just, it feels really similar to the Jordan 11. These are the Jordan 11 Jubilees and as you see here, the pat leather is very similar to what you have here on the Dub Zero. Um, you know, that's just where they took the Dub Zero pat leather from, man, for the most part. Now recently, uh, the Dub Zeros have been making a comeback. They've been releasing a couple of, you know what I'm saying, a couple of colorways and man's is happy about that still, but y'all need to re-release this baddie right here uh don't sleep on the second generation dub zeros these is fire fan everybody loves jordan 11s what can you say about that but you can see where the patent leather came from on these shoes now when we look at the toe box you have that cordura mesh which i love so much standard lacing and this jordan brand on the tongue now i'm not gonna lie i ain't a real big fan of this tongue it's kind of floppy and it's not very well designed it's just you know it just feels like a piece of fabric with cordura mesh on the front god i just i can't get over this tongue it's just 
Yeah, no sir, I don't like it. They definitely could have made this a little bit of a better tongue. Um, and yeah, these are worn. It's a bit dirty, whatever. You got a little stainy stain, whatever there. But for the most part, this is after the Jordan 12. You got the two, three branding on the tongue. Now here I have the winterized Jordan 12s. Obviously you can't see on the tongue very closely. So I'll pull it up to the camera so you can see. You have your two, three branding here, just the same. You know what I mean? Anybody that has 12s knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, very similar to the Jordan 12. Although I do like the Jordan 12 tongue slightly better because it's not as floppy and, and sopsy as this. Curious to see what the Jordan mid haters think about the Dub Zeros because a lot of you guys don't really like Jordans that are not original Jordans. They're, you know, you just don't like the hybrids. Synthetic mesh on the inside with a Jordan brand on the insole. Um, yeah, man, I definitely like this blue. It's a laser blue that's actually the colorway and it's super fire man this this it just looks good when you wear black on this this eye stay section this eye stays actually from the Jordan 17 if you guys uh, have any 17s or if you ever had a 17 that's where that eye stay comes from midsole and outsole is basically that of the Jordan 4 anybody who has Jordan 4s knows exactly what this is laser blue outsole with laser blue stitching very nice you have your Jordan 4 outsole in the laser blue white and black super nice Nice. and the bottoms have been kept pretty clean on these dudes like this help pave the way for like the Jordan Spizikes and the, you know the Mars son of Mars shoes and all those different hybrid retros that they've been coming out with over the years but these were the originals man these were the original hybrids so you got to put some respect on the name you got to put some respect on these you know what I'm saying now we all know where this spoiler comes from and that's from the Jordan 6 infrared not even just the infrared just the Jordan 6 in general but yeah obviously the spoiler as you guys know from my other reviews if you've watched them and I'm sure you have if you're subscribed to the channel you know that the spoiler comes from Jordan's Porsche that he was driving back in the day the 911 turbo or whatever and it's just a cool design feature it helps to get the shoe on very cool very uh, innovative for the time and uh, definitely a great homage to that shoe so you have the Jordan 6 there in the heel um, what else do we have man you got the tongue tag is from the 13 as well on the back you have this woven leather from the Jordan 15 and you know that's just one of those things that is a cool touch I actually like the way that looks it's a woven leather very nice and plush and it's just it's just a, a cool touch man now the same rules apply for these shoes as the Jordan 11s when you got a patent leather toe box make sure you go as true to size as possible because uh, you don't want them to crease straight up because you already know how patent leather toe boxes be creasing something fierce I don't know if shoe shield's gonna help you either visible air unit from the Jordan 4 and I really do like this laser blue color it is such a nice nice colorway these shoes originally released in 2009 they were produced in 2008 but they originally released in 2009 so it's not um, as old as some of the other dub zero pairs that are out there so when these came out they basically were the first hybrid shoes to ever hit the street um, what do you guys think about the laser blue embroidered dub zero um, did you guys uh, were you guys fans because these were super hot in 2005 these were like you know what I mean they, these were the Jordan ones of their time when these first came out they were hard to get fam like everybody was reselling these like they were real Jordans so yeah yeah I'm keeping these still it's the 20th anniversary in 2005 I think they did a really good job the embroidery the color for the most part these shoes are extremely comfortable super stylish people ask me about these anytime I wear them I've been actually keeping these on ice until I could review them because I didn't want these to get destroyed I don't know if they're ever going to retro these specific pairs. So um, I did have the taxi yellow version as well. And I did an on foot, but I actually got rid of those shoes because I don't need two pairs of the exact same shoe. So, yo, I actually uh, had two pairs of this, but I got rid of the yellow version because, you know, what I'm saying my girl said you can't you shouldn't have two pairs of the same exact shoe. But I beg to differ. Boop, 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 boop reads air jordan dub zero black white laser blue size ten and a half made in china 
yeah man as you can see here um i got these basically 2009 and yeah the box is a bit beat up but it is what it is man anyways let me know what you guys think of this pair in the comment section did you guys ever own a pair of dub zeros and were you thinking of getting a pair um you know they don't exactly have this embroidery here on all of them uh, most of the old retros and the ones that are producing have the laser print but let me know what you guys think of the embroidered dub zero if you think these are more fire than the simple laser sketched let me know in the comment section uh yeah man we're about to get to the on foot you already know anyways guys that's the review for today let me know what you guys think about the jordan dub zero laser blue this is a real retro back from 2008 2009 let me know what you guys think in the comment section <clears throat> hit that like and subscribe button you already know i'm back with the heat this week i've been busy choking mans out and all that doing a jujitsu competition clip You know what I'm saying? Doing the kumite. It's like blood sport. Yeah, that's why I was away for a week. You already know I'm about to show you what these guys look like on foot. And uh, if you're trying to hunt them down, good luck. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button. I'll be back with another one. Before you know it, man, more retros, more heat from the retro god. Thanks again. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.